Hello everyone. Today's topic is contour integral. If f is continuous on a smooth curve C given by the parametrization zt is equals to xt plus iyt where t is greater than equals to a and less than equals to b then integration of f of z dz along the smooth curve C is equals to integration a to b f of z t into z dash t dt. Okay. Now, so here are some properties of contour integrals. See, suppose the functions f and g are continuous in a domain D and C is a smooth curve lying entirely in D. Then, those are some of the properties. So, these four properties are C. This all. So, here the first property is if k is a complex constant then that will come outside the integration and the second property is the integration of sum of two functions is equals to the integration of each function separately and the third property is if c consists of the smooth curves c1 and c2 joined from end to end then the integration along C is equals to the sum of the integration along C1 and along C2. Okay. And the bit for is this where minus C denotes the curve having the opposite orientation of C. Okay. See, here is a question from this topic. Evaluate where c is the circle x is equals to cos t y is equals to sin t and t is greater than equals to 0 and less than equals to 2 pi okay so here see this we know that z t is equals to how much x t plus i y t okay so here xt is given how much cos t plus yt is sin t so plus i sin t okay now see we have to find dz now this one is equals to e to the power i t by euler's formula okay and now we can easily find dz by dt Okay, which is equals to i e to the power i t. Alright, now we will find the value of this. 1 by z dz which is equals to integration t is going from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, and now here this is 1 by z means 1 by e to the power it into dz dz is how much i e to the power i t into dt so this is i into e to the power i t dt all right now this is equals to see this is e to the power minus i t when this will go up or else you can cancel this directly now we were we are left with i 0 to 2 pi dt okay now this is equals to t i and this is the limit is going from 0 to 2 pi which is equals to i into 2 pi minus 0 which is equals to 2 pi i okay now this is the answer now see, here is another question where C consists of C1 and C2. Okay. So here, integration C x square plus i y square dz is equals to integration C1 x square plus i y square dz plus integration c2 
x square plus i y square dz. Okay. Its final answer is going to be the sum of the value along the path c1 and along the path c2. Okay. Now, uh, let us find the limit for C1. Okay. So, C1 is going from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1. Okay. 1, 1. Because here the real part and the imaginary part both are 1, 1. So, X and Y both are 1. Okay. So, either we can take the x limit or the y limit okay because both are same so let us take x is equals to 0 to 1 then so the equation of the line c1 is y is equals to x which we will get by using this formula okay this that is y minus y1 by x minus x1 is equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 okay from this formula also you are going to get this equation see here y1 is 0 okay and x1 is also 0 y2 is 1 x2 is also 1 so this is 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 this is 1 so finally y is equals to x okay so this is what you are going to the, get from this formula okay or directly also you can see from the graph also that this is y is equals to x line okay now this is x square plus we know that y is equals to x so therefore plus i y square means this is x square whole into dz now we know that z is equals to okay so we know that z is equals to x plus i y okay and we know that y is equals to x fine so this is equals to x plus i x all right now dz by dx is equals to how much one plus i okay so this one is that is dz oh this is dz by dx okay so dz is equals to 1 plus i into dx okay so this is 1 plus i into dx all right now this is equals to x square 0 to 1 1 plus i whole square dx okay see from here when we will take x square common we got 1 plus i so 1 plus i square now after integration we will get its value as x cube by 3 where the limit is going from 0 to 1 into 1 plus i whole square okay now this is equals to 1 by 3 minus 0 1 plus i whole square now this is equals to 1 by 3 and 1 plus whole square after opening this, we will get 1 plus 2y minus 1. So, this is how much? 2i by 3. Okay. So, this is what we got for the first part. That is for C1. Okay. We can see that C2 is going from 1, 1 to 1, 2. Therefore, here C2 is going from 1, 1 to 1 comma 2 okay now we can see that the lower limit and the upper limit of x is constant that is equals to 1 all right here we will take integration y is equals to how much y is going from 1 to 2 okay so y is equals to 1 to 2 and now here the question is what x square so x square okay first let me write the question itself x square plus i y square dz okay so this is equals to y is equals to 1 to 2 now here this is x square x is equals to how much 1 
so this is 1 plus i y square all right dz so z is equals to x plus i y all right which is equals to 1 plus i y and now dz by dy is equals to how much 0 plus i okay so that is dz is equals to i dy all right so dz is equals to i dy all right so see after integration we will get its value as i into y plus i y cube by 3 okay and the limit is going from 1 to 2 so this is equals to i into 2 minus 1 plus i into this is 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 okay now this is equals to i into 1 plus i 7 by 3 all right so this is equals to see after multiplying i we will get its value as i minus 7 by 3 okay see now the final answer is equals to along c1 we got the value as 2 by 3i okay and along c1 we got it as i minus 7 by 3 so we will add both of this okay so this is i minus 7 by 3 now this is equals to see this is 2 plus 3 i minus 7 by 3 which is equals to 5 i minus 7 by 3 okay so this is the final answer all right